This is a USB wireless dongle that connects to ExpressLRS. Practicing on simulator is the best way to get good, but you have to connect this to your computer or gaming system with one of these. Why is it that you have to use a wireless technology and plug it in with some kind of electronic leash, like you're a little kid about to get lost in a grocery store? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore thanks to the squid stick. This is a USB wireless dongle that connects to ExpressLRS. So if you've been flying within the last decade, you're probably already on that technology. In fact, you probably have a radio kind of like this one that has ExpressLRS baked in. So what could be easier than a stick that has connectivity with an Express LRS target that you can flash using the same Wi Fi connection that you do to flash to any other receiver, upload your bind phrase, and boom, it's already bound. Plug it into your computer and sim from your laptop in the living room, sim from your gaming den across the room. Simba, you have forgotten me. No. or sim on your 70 inch Sony TV if you can manage to squirrel away TV time from your wife when she's trying to watch The Real Housewives or The Bachelor. Now, if she gets good enough on The Bachelor, does that mean that she's gonna get to go on and actually get some Bachelor money? Well, hopefully not. But if you get good enough at Simulator, you can actually travel to races or freestyle competitions and win big, big, Dollars. So the incentive is there. The opportunity is there. So I did some unscientific testing to see if I could tell the difference. Now I flew this several weeks on the weekly simulator races. There's nothing like putting a little bit of pressure on the line about wanting to compete and get the best time possible. I do feel after testing it extensively, I could not feel any sort of latency or lag freestyling around, flying around, or even on bigger tracks with flowy curves. But when you went to a more multi-GP type, very tight turned, especially hard punching, splits, timing decision, I did feel like I could feel the tiniest bit of delay. So how I measured whether that works is if I left my cable in another room, would I be lazy enough to actually go grab it if I felt that it could help my time during the weekly competition? And on this big X class track, I didn't feel like it would help me at all. So I stayed on this thing the entire time and actually did pretty well. Following week though, they had a tighter track, a tighter and after qualifying and flying my first couple rounds on this, I did feel like maybe the wire would help me. Now I have to disclaimer, say that I'm actually very sensitive to latency. I can actually tell an improvement in my times flying on my laptop, Alienware M17 R4, that has a 144 Hertz refresh screen versus when I plug that same machine into my monitor that I normally sit at and that has a 240 Hertz refresh rate and my times on the high refresh rate will actually be better. And I saw a similar jump moving to the cord on that track. After three laps, my time's improved by about eight or nine seconds. The thing that's unscientific about that though, is the more times you fly on a track, the more you're going to improve on it anyway. So it is a bit difficult to differentiate. Is that time improvement actually due to switching the equipment or is it just due to more time on the track? That's why some of these tests are difficult to tease that out. So I kind of have been keeping both on some of those weekly competitions. I use this and on sometimes I use this. The nice thing though, if I was going to have a visitor come over and try FPV, they're really not used to being tethered. So I would never want to use this. I would always use this if I was freestyling around or if I wanted to connect it to a TV. This is really nice to have. Hopefully he'll be making more. It's a nice 3D printed package. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to pick one up. I do really like that this uses Express LRS and it has an actual receiver in there so theoretically you should be getting the same refresh rate that's on here which is like 250 hertz uh so the delay that i'm experiencing 
realistically could be all in my head. I have used some of these other systems that use like an FR Sky protocol and that one does have an actual real delay. This is so minute that for most people in most scenarios, the convenience of not having a wire is going to trump any perceived real or maybe possibly only in your mind delays that you could feel. What do you think in the comments, guys? Is this going to help you sim not having wires? Are you going to cut the cord? Are you going to get rid of that unsightly cable that could be a trip hazard in your living room that could be the difference between you crashing your $2,000 gaming laptop onto the hard tile if your dog runs by at the wrong time? I think it's worth the peace of mind.